Time now for the eye. Now you can see that uh, it's going to be a very interesting eye, but we start off by putting the light in the eye, which is the area here. So let's uh, get that underway. I'm going to use ivory as a starting point there. Ivory there. And a little bit on the other side. And then a little bit of white. Just a bit of white in the eye because we want the light to be more prominent. And a little bit, a little bit of light in here. Just and just a little tickle in there. A little bit of ivory in there. I'm going to turn that into a more of a pinky colour. Okay. And then talking about pink, I'm going to use the pink, which is the 132, just to put a little bit of colour around the eye here. And just a little bit over there as well. Now I'm going to now use my 187, seem to be 187, because uh, this is the colour we've used and we're going to start just developing the shape of the eye. Around there and around there. Now just those few things, look at the difference it made already. Inside the eye, we can put the 187 again because this is the this will be the tone. Let's use the 187 just to bring the frame of the eye in. Like that. I'm going to use 131 now, which is a slightly stronger pink, just to put in the base. Like that. Now, how quickly, folks, can you do an eye? You can see that what we've got there is exactly what we want, but what we need now is to fill it in a little more. So what I'm going to do now is just, just darken the, the pupil just a bit. Um, and I'm going to use, let me just think about this for a minute, I want to use the right colour. I think I'll use, that's too strong. Okay. I'm going to use this colour, which is in fact 169. Now we haven't used 169 yet, but I wanted to see, yeah, that's lovely. I love that colour. Now I can use the darker colour in it, but I'm not going to do it yet because I've got that dark enough now to, to create the effect that I wanted. Okay, now we're going to just build up a little bit of um, strength in the eye with the 187. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sharpen up 169. So give me a minute and I'll be back. Right, I've got a lovely sharp 169. And this will give me the shape that I'm looking for. It always amazes me how small dog's eyes are. Carefully, carefully put it in. Although I've drawn this carefully, I really do need to have an exercise quite a lot of care when I'm doing something like this. So I'm really taking my time. Now here we have a, an area Extends out like that, and then I'm going to use my 131. See, this is this 169 is like a mauvey, greyish, bookish colour. It's given me the colour that I need for that. That's good. So we've got it in the centre of the eye on top of the 187. That was good. We've got it around the edge, and you can see now the the eye is beginning to work. Now just before I go on. What I have to do is to actually complete the surround of the eye. 187 here, and 
this creates the effect that I want. So I'm closing it on the eye. It's better to do it this way rather than do it, you know, when you start out. Now just along the top edge there, there's a, a little pinky. There's quite a lot of pink in this dog's eye, I've noticed. So I'm going to put some pink on the outer edges of that. And that pink mixes with... 187. That's lovely. That. I wouldn't think those two colours would go together, but they do really well. Now I'm going to, I already know that the 169 and the 187 work together, so I'm going to make it a little darker there. strength there. Again, follow it with 187. Let's go. Good. Okay, now we want to put some more 187 around here. And I think what we need to do now is to darken the eye. So I'm going to elect to use um, the colour that I've used before, which is the Double seven, and this will give me the strength of the pupil. But I don't want it to be right to the very edge of the eye. In other words, I want some of the one eight two seven to be on the edge, because eventually I'm going to put a bit of black in the middle of there. That eye. Now the other thing is, it's also. Um, this is where I've got a problem because I don't really want to put the um, the 177 on top of the white. It won't work. So let me creep up on it. Having put the white in, it's going to... Oh, that's better. That's better. Now I can do it. It would have been too harsh if I'd done that before. But that works all right because the pupil, the, the pupil goes right almost to the top of the eye there, even though I put the light in. And I can put light back in again over the top of that. Just re-establish it a little bit there. Okay. So now we've got the, the light on top, that's good. Now the next thing uh, to do is to darken in and around. So I'm going to use my one eight two two eight three rather just to expand and deepen it's got to be very dark in there eventually but I'm kind of creeping up on it now's the time to think about doing that though now with the same color I've used in there which is one double seven we go on the outer edge of that eye there, which is the darkest part, and we darken. But you see, I've got a nice cushion underneath that. So although it's, it, it works out to be very dark, it's also cushioned by the colours I put underneath. And I'm going to use just a little bit of, a little bit of Indian red in here as well. That will give me a richness. goes over the top of the 177, which is nice. <clears throat> and I also want the same colour to go in here. Good. That was one double seven, and now we're using two eight three. And then we need an ochre. Now, for the first time, I'm going to use 
183, which is a yellow ochre. So to put some ochre into the eye. Good. And now I need some black. And now I need to darken it a little bit more and widen the eye a bit more. So I'm going to use one double seven. I don't want to use black. Black would be too severe. Getting there now. Now <clears throat> we darken it a little more down here. One double seven. Now that eye should really be beginning to stand out for you now. And we've got to continue that around there. And I've also got to use, in fact, I think I might use a little bit of 182 here. Need to darken the edge of that and then with one level seven. Good. Gosh, look at, look at what I've got here in my hat with my finger. I'm just collecting all the pencils together. These are all the pencils that I've been using here. But I'll, I'll obviously give you all those colours now. Just a little bit of black here just to push in colour a little more. It's coming along very nicely. And we need to now make it a little darker. A little more strength now. You can afford at this stage you can afford to be just a little stronger. And you can see now what's happening is this is miles too light in here. So with one eight two and a little bit of one three one. We can start closing in on that. There we are. It's one six nine. One three one. I'm not changing any of these colours, I'm, I'm giving you I'm giving you the all the colours as I'm missing. That was one three one. This is one six nine now. And the one six nine now can darken the inside of that. Right. <clears throat> now I need, to, I need to darken it off just a little more, so I'm going to use my ochre. Don't worry the fact that I've lost the light in the eye, that's all going to come back again. A little bit, and a little touch now of ivory again, just to pick out the light just there. I think that's all I need, just a touch. I need to go back in with my... This is one double seven now. And I think that definitely need to be darker at the top there. I think I better use whoops. I better use one six nine there. So it's gonna have a little bit darker coming out of there. And then just a little black. And that's that's good. I'm using 169 and black largely now to create the depth on that side. It 
Now we need to be, have a darker colour and it, it can only really be one double, one double seven to start with anyway, just in there. Now the light really here, just that little bit of white which I put in there, we can start closing in on that. because it's right in the corner of the eye. And using the ochre uh, 283, no, I've got the wrong one. 183, I mean. Just put a little bit of ochre back in there. A little touch of ivory under there. These are all small adjustments, but they're, they're kind of important. I can just see the eye developing, which I'm sure you can too now. This is now getting to the point where I can use some richer colours, like a little bit of red. can go around there, and that red can go. Every now and again, just break off and marry up what you see around it because it I mean although obviously the eye is important the surround the eye is just as important so we need to really start developing that too and I and I put and I put some pink in there as well because of the pink influence of the eye and it's looking quite stunning now. And I need to darken, I need to darken this a bit more. And then on the edge of the eye here. And then we can start putting some colour in. Now, I'm going to use 283 because it's a very rich colour. Just to put that area there in. And I'm going to try the 283 on the very outer edges of that pupil. Yes, now that works well. And I'm going to sharpen the white up and we'll put the finishing touches to it. Right, I've got the white nicely sharpened now. Now this is where we've got to be very, very careful. Probably a good idea to just put, it, put a little dot to start with and then we, we've got to just weaken as we go across. What we don't want to do is to make it too, too light. Kind of meant it. See the difference that that makes. Now, let me just wiggle it down a little bit. So the light's got to come across the eye at the top, like that. Make it and just lose it just a little bit at the top, a little bit of shadow. So we might having put it in, we can now just take it out. And I like a little sparkle in the eye, so I'm just going to put just a little bit of ivory back in. Just put a little sparkle in the eye there. And we can just put just a touch of white, one lot, just along the edge there. And then we can just very, very carefully build that little bit of light in there, up again. slightly different to what we have on the picture but I do like it. Now I'm going to use what I've got here folks, putty rubber. Now watch, I'm going to show you something clever. Right on the top of this eye here I noticed that there was some light. Now watch, using it very very carefully you just, oh isn't that clever folks. Hmm. I don't think you've ever seen that done before. But rather than put light on, I thought it would be better to just remove a little bit of it. 
just to shake the eye. That's nice. Lovely. Just tip the eye very, very slightly down down here with the colours I've used before. Lovely, and just to just emphasise, we can just put it just a little touch. We don't want to be much in there, just a touch of ivory on it. There we are, we have the light. Beautiful. Really pleased with that. Now, while I'm here, let me just show you something else I've been doing. Um, this is really a, I tried this out and it, it did work quite well. We come from the area that we just done. This is 283 I'm using. And we darken it, and I just want to make that just a touch darker there using the one up to double seven, and then and we go in with our two eight three and just touch. And what I plan to do is just go over. Yeah, let me just make sure you can see all of this. Just really putting an indication of short fur in. Don't put, don't put it all over. It's just in places where we can see that there is light. Now I will do that all over. Just here, for instance, I wouldn't do that with the... I'd just do this with the... One eight seven. When you go into a lighter area like that, but I like that. I think that's got a lovely effect. So there we are. There's the eye done now. Let's have a look at the whole thing. It's looking good now, isn't it? I need to now darken off and go really the same idea as I've done before. You've seen me do this already. So I don't need to do it again. Bring it down to the snout. I think we'll finish the snout and then. The nose, which is really the similar colours to the ones we're using in the eye, the one eight one six nine, the pinks.